Then we went there, we wanted to go to the northern area, north of um, Amidea, um, to visit at least the one village of Hirura, because there was the one account of a farmer and his family who have been attacked by a chemical agent, possibly. So we wanted to talk to him, we wanted to talk to the doctors and may take some samples. And then we went to the governor of uh, Amidea, and the governor of Amadeus said, no, we are not allowed to go to Yeruri and we are not allowed to go to Tanimasi to talk to the doctors. Um, and no reason was given. Um, I think the problem is that the Kurdish regional government in Erbil did not want us to investigate because apparently there's some kind of cooperation with the Turkish government. Uh, but this is a guess from my side. Uh, through all these talks, we have been there for a week. Um, my impression is that there's enough evidence to warrant a formal international investigation. I'm not in a position to say, yes, there was a chemical attack, but I'm, I'm in a position to say there's enough evidence to warrant an investigation. We were not able to access um, um, any kind of least reports from doctors. We wanted to talk to the doctors. We wanted to go to the hospital of Kani Masi, but we were not able to talk to them. I read the other reports, um, but yeah, it's a report. It's hearsay from, from my point of view. So um, I think um, it, it might well be that something was fishy there, that maybe someone was forced to change medical reports. Um, but so far, I've not seen proof for this report. Because the OPCW is an organization um, that has uh, member states, and the member states are the bosses. So we need to send this information to the member states because their bosses are the member states and they need a member state to say, please investigate. So I send it to my German government um, and I hope something will happen here. It's the Iraqi federal government in Baghdad. The Iraqi federal government never gave permission to Turkey to have military operations in northern Iraq. This is why all this, the whole operation violates international law. It's up to the federal government of Iraq and Baghdad to go to OPCW and ask for an investigation. So this is key, and they are not involved in the chemical attacks. It's basically, we've, we, we have two big issues. The first issue is a speech given by the Turkish defense minister a year ago in the, in the Turkish parliament, where he said, we only use tear gas in the operation in Garam Mountain. So probably he didn't know, but using tear gas in a military operation is prohibited under the Chemical Weapons Convention. It sounds strange, you're allowed to use chemical weapons, uh, tear gas against demonstrations, uh, but you're not allowed to use it in, in military operations. But this is very clear. There's no doubt about it in the Chemical Weapons Convention, and there's very good reason for it that is prohibited. So he admitted publicly in front of the parliament that uh, they violated the Chemical Weapons Convention. This is point one. This is clear evidence. Um, and. If now people say, but it was only tear gas, yes, there's very good reason why the use of tear gas in military operations is prohibited. Gorilla found um, some containers that could have been used, could have been used to produce chlorine gas, and chlorine is a chemical weapon. Whether it was used to produce chlorine, whether it was used to put the chlorine into the caves where the, the PKK uh, was stationed, we don't know. So it's very indirect evidence, but for me, it's enough in the combination of what we saw in the different videos um, to say, probably, um, the, to me, it looks like that the Turkish military produces self-made chemical agents.